Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I got another Nintendo Switch related review for you. So, if you have not seen it already, I recently got the Nintendo Switch on launch day. I've done an unboxing video. Here it is right here in hand. It's pretty awesome. I'm loving it. So you can go check that out, uh, as well as the Zelda Special Edition. There's a whole unboxing video I did for that. Um, and then I also unboxed some other Zelda Breath of the Wild Amiibo, which is really cool. But I also got some more goodies, and I figured, you know what, let's put this together and do an unboxing video. So today, I got the Joy-Con charging grip, which I will do a comparison with the regular grip that the system comes with, the blue Joy-Cons left and right, and then a blue Joy-Con strap. So I was kind of debating between the, the regular Nintendo Switch system and then the, the neon one. And at first, I didn't really like the neon one because of the mismatch of colors. Now, having seen it in person later on, it was actually really cool and I kind of dig it. Uh, but my ultimate color combination would be both blue because blue is my favorite color. So when I saw that they're releasing these blue ones, this was perfect and this was exactly what I wanted. Uh, and then it'll be great for multiplayer to have that other set as well. So here it is. Got my Joy-Cons, so uh, without further ado, um, let's just kind of do a little unboxing and review of these items. So. Blue left and right Joy-Cons, even the box itself is very bright, but it is very tiny. I mean, you can already see this tiny box is kind of interesting. So neon blue, I should say neon blue, sorry, let me clarify, neon blue, Joy-Con left and right. So they do sell them individually, but if you get it together, then you'll get it for a cheaper overall total cost. Uh, then the packaging here shows you the Joy-Cons as is. I don't believe they come with straps, although I could be wrong, so I think this is just showing you if they were wearing straps. And then on the other side right here, uh, this looks like, um, yeah, the two Joy-Cons up close right there. And then the back of the box, again, right here, shows you a set of two Joy-Con controllers, um, and you can show them sideways and, and all sorts of fun stuff right there. So, really cool. Then we have the Joy-Con strap, neon blue as well. So the system does come with a black uh, Joy-Con strap, two of them actually, one for each Joy-Con. I did not realize, I guess I was being dumb, and I ordered this thinking for some reason that it would have two Joy-Con straps. Now maybe it does, but just looking at the box and just feeling it, I think it only has one. And then this thing is like sold out right now, so I may have to try and get a second one obviously to match the other Joy-Con. So that's something that, you know, at least I have one to do an unboxing video of, so I'll show you that. But uh, side of the box shows it to you uh, in person there. And you can mix and match the colors. You can use this blue strap with the, the gray Joy-Con or whatever color, you can use the any of them basically, so so there's that. And last but not least, we have the Joy-Con charging grip. Um, now this is the exact same thing as the regular charging, or sorry, the regular Joy-Con grip that comes with the Nintendo Switch, except there's a slot to plug in a charger. This is not a battery pack. Okay, let me repeat. This is not a battery pack. It's simply, the only difference is it lets you plug in a charger cable so that you can charge your Joy-Cons while they're on the grip. Then also look-wise, there's some differences with transparency and all that kind of stuff, but functionality-wise, there's no battery pack, it's just a space for you to plug in a charging cable. That's the only difference. So again, we'll take a look at that. Uh, but this is, grant granted, this is I think the only way that they sell it separately, so if you need more Joy-Con charging grips, if you're getting more Joy-Cons, you got to get this charging grip if you need more grips basically. So anyways enough talking Let's uh, jump right to the the blue joy cons because that's that's the piece that I'm most excited about definitely so um, I have a uh, uh, a PS Vita that's the aqua blue color, so it's kind of a similar blue I love the just the solid bright blue, you know, like it's it's great. So um, just in general for systems. Oh, it actually does come with the straps. I did not expect that. But it is the just regular black straps, not the colored ones. Uh, but that's actually kind of nice that you just don't have to buy these extra and everything. So um, that's actually really cool. I did not expect it to come with the Joy-Con straps. So you have those right there. So real quick, uh, let me just kind of take it out of the box right here. And here's the one on the left. This is the one that came with the Switch. Here's the other one, exact same color. It's black, there it is. Um, FYI also, because I've seen a lot of people uh, say some, some wrong information about it, both of these straps are the exact same. There is no strap that's only for the left Joy-Con or the right one. These are the exact same. All that matters is if you do it this way, you line it up with the Joy-Con that has the minus button, like so, 
Or you can flip it, and now it's got a plus sign, and you can line it up with the other Joy-Con. You just line up the minus of the minus or the plus of the plus. Either one doesn't matter. Just FYI on that one. Then we have the Joy-Cons right here. So, ooh, this is cool. Look at that blue. Oh man, this is great. Let me just get them both out of here and then we'll take an up close look and I'll do a little comparison of, of all that fun stuff. All right, here they are. The blue Joy-Cons. Look at that. that is, I love that bright neon blue. That is just, that is awesome. So just taking up close look. Uh, actually, let me, let me do this. Let me grab the other Joy-Cons that I have from uh, my Nintendo Switch right here. Let me prop it up with the, the kickstand. We'll take out the, the gray Joy-Cons. Oops, I knocked that one over. The kickstand is not super sturdy, but it's not that bad either. That CNET video that was out there, exaggerating things way too much. All right, so left Joy-Cons, right? These are the left Joy-Cons, and this is the difference right here. Um, so the, the gray is actually really nice. I do dig it. it it's definitely really sleek looking, uh, but the blue is kind of, if you're looking for that more bright, fun color that kind of pops, you know? So um, even the little SL and SR buttons are colored in. So that's pretty cool. So they sell a set of two gray Joy-Cons. They sell two blue, two red, and also a set that's one blue and one red that is the opposite of the neon system so that you can, if you get that one, then you get a complete set of, of blue and red, basically. So there's that. Then you have the right Joy-Con. That blue color, again, just really pops. IR sensor down there. Looks really cool. So the uh, the straps, I'll just show um, one of these straps on here just to give you an idea. So you have the plus sign, right? So plus sign on this Joy-Con. So um, let me just unlock this and then slide it in. Ready? Boom. There it is. That's what it looks like. Let me attach the other one um, onto this plus one just for comparison since we're all doing comparisons now. So that's your comparison of, of what that looks like with it attached. So the black fits in very nicely. The black blends in with everything else. You can actually buy gray ones as well, um, which may kind of fit in. I feel like gray or black works here, but especially in the blue one, the black fits in because all the buttons are black. So um, it works. It definitely, you know, you don't need any additional Joy-Con straps unless you really want the extra colors, that kind of thing. So uh, it definitely serves its purpose. It definitely works. So to take these off, by the way, so you just kind of push this back to unlock it, and then you just have to push it just like that. You don't have to hold down the release button or anything. You just kind of push it out just like that. Okay. So that's really cool. Now, um, before we kind of continue, I do want to attach it onto the system real quick. So I'm going to, uh, boot this up. Um, press my a button a couple times. All right. I'm in my home menu. Uh, so what I actually really like about this, let me, uh, pop into the controller menu. So I don't know if you, if you can see this or not, there's actually, um, gray, it's, it recognizes a gray Joy-Con right there. You see gray on the, on the switch right there. So I'm going to actually take this other one and just kind of connect it real quick and show you again, gray, gray and gray right there. Okay. So let's take those out and watch what happens when I take the, the blue system or the blue Joy-Cons and connect them for the first time. That's it, it's now paired. That's literally how you connect the controllers. It's that easy, and it actually knows that it's a blue Joy-Con. Let's connect the other one. Boom, they are now paired with the system. That's it, um, which is really cool because these are also still paired for other multiplayer, so I can use these right now. I'm using the control stick, or I can obviously use these. So really cool, definitely I like how easy it is just to pair it up. Um, super, super easy. Let me kind of, uh, let me put this back in, uh, in sleep mode here and take these out. I'll show you the, uh, the system with the Joy-Cons attached in, uh, in, in, um, a little bit later. I just wanted to kind of mention that at least. So really cool. Definitely love the look of those, the blue Joy-Cons there. Now let's take a look at the Joy-Con strap. So let's get this open and see how that blue looks on these Joy-Cons. 
You know, I'm a sucker for all these color combinations. When when they released all the weird modes of like Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Bowser, and Yoshi, and Toad, and I got them all. Like I have like a million Wii modes because like I'm just a sucker for all that stuff. So yes, just to confirm, only one Joy-Con strap sold in that box. So I will have to, you know, get a second one. Even though I technically don't need them now, I didn't realize it came with the straps. But just for color coordination purposes, it'll be nice to get a second one. So here it is. Exact same thing, the minus and plus are going to be a little bit more faint because of the blue color right there. So just FYI, but it is the exact same thing. Um, so here's the black one for comparison. The difference being they actually just have black buttons still, which kind of make it stand out a little bit, but everything else is blue. So uh, for comparison, I'll just attach it onto the right Joy-Con here. Boom. Um, and, you know, to be honest... I actually kind of don't like it as much. I kind of like the black better. Uh, let me connect the black one to here. Actually, I think it goes this way. No, it is this way. Like, look at that. The black actually blends in more. This blue is actually a slightly different shade of blue. That's so weird. Why would they do that? I just, uh, I, that's kind of a bit of a mismatch. I'm not a huge fan of that. Like, I'm gonna get another blue strap just to you know, for, for symmetrical purposes and, and, and do that, but like, that is really odd. It's a slightly different blue color. Now, um, these, these straps are useful for playing some of these games, definitely, so um, that is definitely handy, but like, it comes with the black ones, just stick with those. Like, I feel like that looks better, you know? Um, that's kind of a, uh, I don't know about that one. Now, let's actually take the, uh, this one and attach it to one of the gray Joy-Cons and see what that looks like. Uh, it looks okay. I mean, it adds a little bit more color to it, but it's still not as good as the black one, which is just kind of plain and just sort of blends in more, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, that just, it, it does seem a little odd to me. So that is certainly very interesting. Huh. Well, there you have it. I mean, that's basically, you know, you saw it right there. That's, that's what it is. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so, um... Very interesting. I actually really do like the black ones better than the, the blue strap right there. Um, it, it just fits in better. So, we did all that. Now let's take a look at the Joy-Con charging grip. So, and then I'll show you the blue Joy-Cons in the Nintendo Switch just by itself and, and what, that, uh, what that looks like. All right, open this thing up. And inside, oh, I didn't realize they gave you the charging cable too. That is useful. I thought you would just have to use an existing one or something. So that is great. I'm glad that they gave another charging cable. So there you go. Oops, I just knocked over my Nintendo Switch again. Okay. Charging cable right there. And then here is the Joy-Con charging grip. So. Here it is, as you can see. It's the exact same shape and everything, except the difference being that. So, let's do a little comparison. On the left is the one that comes with the Nintendo Switch, and on the right is the charging grip sold separately. So, the exact same thing in the middle, um, in terms of the look of it. The outside, this is a solid color, um, as you can see. And the back as well, solid black. Here they gave a translucent color. Um, so kind of interesting. We'll have to see how it looks with the, the Joy-Cons in there. Um, but it is translucent, so that's different. And then the major difference is, let's say, right now, when you buy the Nintendo Switch, the only way to charge the Joy-Cons is you plug them into your system, and your system is being charged. That's the only way to charge your Joy-Cons. Um, if you put in the Joy-Cons in here, right, you wanna charge the Joy-Cons, you can't. There's no charger port or anything. You just, you can't do it. Um, but with this, there's the charging port. That's the only difference with it right there. So for whatever reason, they took that out of the one that comes with the Nintendo Switch. So as you can see, you got USB right here, and then the other end, this USB-C, just plugs right in, boom. This itself is not a battery pack. Like if you were to unplug this, 
your Joy-Cons will not charge. This, this does not store any battery. Um, so keep that in mind. Let's take the blue ones, plug them in right there. Um, there you have it. I really do like, so the blue Joy-Cons, like I love the bright colors with it and it really just kinda stands out. I mean, this this looks cool too, I'm, it's not bad, but the blue, just the bright neon colors, like looks really cool, I think, in the, uh, in the set right there. So, you know, the translucent nature of these, you really don't notice much because the Joy-Cons kinda cover it up. So I don't you know why the difference is with that. I guess they just really wanted it to kind of stand out a little bit more if you're kind of looking at the two and trying to quickly see which is which without looking for the charging port or something. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so that's one little you know, difference with that. Um, but that's it folks. So that is what it is. So if you wanted to use those, if you don't have a pro controller, which I do and it's amazing and I highly recommend it, but if you don't, you can get these grips and put your Joy-Cons in them as well. So, that's a whole lot of stuff that I've shown, right? So now, let's let's do the, the main event, right? This is probably what you all have been, been kind of waiting for right here. Um, and so, I have the Nintendo Switch, right? So let's take the blue Joy-Cons and click and click right there. And there goes a grip <laughs> off the table. Here it is. This is the Nintendo Switch with the blue Joy-Cons attached. Um, it actually looks really cool. I, I really dig it. I oh, got fingerprints and stuff all over this thing, I know. Um, but uh, I dig it. I, I really do like the bright blue color. Um, I just, I think it looks great. And, um... It just, it just adds that little bit of a personality, a little bit of flair to the system, and, and blue being my favorite color, like, it just really makes it pop a little bit more, and I think that's that's really cool, definitely, definitely. And, and again, you can mix and match too, right? So I can take this out and be like, well, maybe I want, you know, my own kind of variation of neon and just have one blue, one gray. I think that looks a little bit more odd because this kind of blends in a little more, but there's nothing stopping you from doing that. Like, you can totally do it, especially if you take this somewhere in tabletop mode. Let's say you're playing 1-2 Switch, and you take this somewhere. When you're in 1-2 Switch, and you're handing controllers to the two people that are playing, the system, remember, it knows which color Joy-Con is connected. So when you're in the menus, it'll show you a picture of a gray Joy-Con and a blue one, so that'll be easier to differentiate. You know, when I played before, and they had a neon set, it made it easier because I was like, oh, I have the blue Joy-Con, so they're talking about me, or oh, I have the red one. If you have two of the same color, that actually kind of makes it a little more difficult. So that actually is one advantage to having either the neon system or getting the gray one and then getting a different color later on. So that's one advantage to it right there. Um, so that's one version of the color combination. Some people like to really see all the different variations, so let me uh, do that real quick. Plus, I like swapping them in and out. It's a lot of fun. Um, so there's the other variation of the, uh, the color combinations that you have there. Um, so definitely very interesting. So that's it guys, that is the, the, the blue Joy-Cons, the Joy-Con strap, and the charging grip. So hope you guys uh, enjoyed that review. I wanted to show you in depth all the color combinations, all the details, tell you all the information you need to know. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Joy-Con charging grip and the blue Joy-Cons and Joy-Con strap. Uh, if there's any Nintendo Switch accessories that you all have gotten, any that you recommend, let me know in the comments section because I'd like to know uh, what's out there, what your experiences are. Um, I know I've, had, I've heard of issues with um, certain skins that you can put on there, certain screen protectors, that kind of thing, so be careful with some of that. Uh, but overall, um, definitely uh, really, really cool. Um, I just I love the uh, the colors here on the blue Nintendo Switch. It just looks awesome. So uh, definitely really sweet, uh, and I'm digging it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoy this review. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.